Hi, I'm Mary Williams, your host for the Watchdog Report. My guest today is Kathy Glass, the Libertarian candidate for Texas governor. Now, Kathy is a wife, a mother, a lawyer, and a longtime constitutional political activist in Houston. Kathy, welcome to the show. Thank you, Mary. It's my pleasure to be here. You know, Kathy, you just told me something off air that we simply have to address before we start uh, with my script here, and that is you have just informed me that you are being boycotted in Houston by some radio stations. Now, let, let's just talk about that. Who are they? Well, Michael Berry refuses to let me on or even discuss me on his show uh, unless he says his listeners uh, demand it. And, of course, if you call requesting to talk about Kathy Glass, you don't get on his show. So that's, that's a difficult nut to crack. And also, Joe Paggs uh, has just refused to let me on, which is really uh, amazing because he's had Bill White on, and he has no problem letting his listeners know about and listen to Bill White. But Kathy Glass is not allowed on his show, and the mention of her name is not allowed on her show. So this is a problem. How can anyone hope uh, to get a uh, word about their other choice? Too many people don't even know that they have another choice for governor. And that's a violation of the FCC. That's right. I don't know why uh, they think it is so important that they would violate the law uh, to try to block me from even uh, letting their listeners know that I exist. And one other name. We're going to talk about it. Well, uh, we haven't gotten on to the KSEV yet, but we haven't made the same push that we have for the other shows. Uh, so far, we're not allowed, our listeners that call in and want to talk about me are not being allowed on the show, uh, according to my uh, sources. But we, we will be making a formal request to be on the Dan Patrick Show and other shows on KSEV, and we hope that they uh, do know the law and their responsibilities to their voters and their listeners, and will allow them to at least hear what I have to say. I, I'm shocked at Senator Dan Patrick. He, uh, Dan is my state senator and uh, always uh, believed to be a fair guy. Of course, he is a Republican now, but still, uh, this is the highest office in Texas, and your views need to be heard. In fact, that's a good segue into what I'm about to say now. Mm -hmm. All right. I read... Bill White's website, Rick Perry's website. I'm so and, sorry. And Kathy Glass's <laughs> website. And after reading all of them, I've come to this conclusion. It's quite obvious that Kathy Glass understands what Rick Perry and Bill White don't. And that is both the federal and state gov government are making us tax, tax serfs, tax slaves, impoverishing us, taxing us to death. But unlike the other two, uh, Kathy Glass has the legal solutions to restore our prosperity, i.e. jobs, and our freedom. They simply do not. I beg anybody, read their websites and, and read hers and see if you don't agree. So with that said, let's first I need to ask you is there any more you want to tell about your background or the Libertarian Party I want to give you a chance to do that before we start in on your Lone Star Five Point <laughs> plan which is marvelous by the way but I just I'm not a politician by uh, training or profession I never thought I would run for political office I've been active in the Liberty Movement for 30 years but being that, a, I can verify that because so have I. <laughs> being a politician is never anything that appealed to me. But after our recent primary season, I looked around at our choices and I said, this is just unsatisfactory. Somebody else has to run because the issues, the four main issues that I'm basing my campaign on and that the Texan voters overwhelmingly endorsed will not even be discussed and will not be addressed by either Bill uh, White or Rick Perry, uh, even though Rick Perry talks about it. So if somebody, if we're going to even have a dialogue about the things that we have to do in Texas to restore our freedom and our prosperity, there has to be another choice. Well, nobody else stepped up, Mary. And so I looked around and I said, I guess I have to do it. And I did it. And that's why I, I'm in this thing. And that's why you're here today. And I think it's important for people to understand that 
My questions are going to be three, uh, uh, three different points in each question. We're going to go through her plan to restore our prosperity and freedom. And as she puts out in her website, uh, you can't have one without the other. And she's exactly right. But in each part of this plan, I want to know what the Bill White, Rick Perry record are on each issue and what will happen to us, this, us average, average Texans, if this plan doesn't go in? Because that's important to me. Okay, if Kathy doesn't make it and one of these other two guys, or Rick Perry's reelected again, or Bill White makes it again in office, what is going to happen to us and our jobs in our pocketbook and our freedom? That's important to people out there. That's one thing everybody's interested in is themselves and their family. So let's just start. Uh, and I just okay. took this right from her website on, on her points. And your first point is Texas sovereignty. Oh. Yes. Take your time and let's, ex let's explain why well, it's important. I'm talking about our uh, constitutional Tenth Amendment sovereignty and our Ninth Amendment individual sovereignty. Not talking about secession, but just our constitutional framework of federalism. The way our framers set it up to run in the way it did run for so long and did well. But constantly and increasingly over the last couple of years, our sovereignty has been taken away from us so that now it's just Washington that makes decisions and then wants to dominate every aspect of our lives. Now this must stop. And the way we put it, an end to it, we must have a strong leader in Texas. We must have a strong Texas or a strong America, but we must have a strong leader in Texas. And we have not had this. Rick Perry is not a strong leader. The nullification is the tool, the best tool, to restoring our lost Texas sovereignty. And that's just a means by which a state makes a statement, uh, usually by uh, act of the legislature, but as we saw in Missouri, a referendum, an act of the people. They declared Obamacare null and void in their state. And that just means once you've declared something unconstitutional, null and void, the state and any of its people, systems, apparatus will not participate, will not allow, do anything to uh, contribute to its enforcement. And, in fact, if enforcement of that unconstitutional act violates a Texas state law, which many times is the case, we will act to enforce Texas state law and prosecute those who are violating it purportedly in pursuit of this unconstitutional federal act. Now, that takes a strong leader. Must call a special session, which is one of the many tools that a Texas governor has, powerful tool that Rick Perry has refused to use. In fact, uh, 